Tell us about the work that nurses like yourself do. Um, manicure nurses go into a patient's home just in the end stages of life. Uh, we don't only do people with cancer now, we take on patients all with all end of life illnesses, motor neuron, MS, heart failure, dementia, anything like that we go in and um, we just do basic nursing care. We're there to support the patient and the family as well. How much did the work of Catherine help your mum? It was, um, it was really fantastic. We had um, her coming in which relieved the family that we could leave my mum and know that she was getting proper nursing care, not somebody just sitting with her, but somebody actually caring for, um, attending to her medically. From your point of view, how important was it to have your mother at home rather than, you know, having to visit her in the hospital? It was great because with work commitments, there was three of us looking after my mum. With work commitments, it was difficult, you know, to fit into certain hours. Um, and also it was my mum's wish. She wanted to be at home. She didn't want to be in a hospice or in the hospital. So this way we were able to have her at home. And what would your message to people be during the Great Daffodil Appeal, having seen the work the Marie Curie nurses do first hand? It's absolutely fantastic and it's a charity. It's not NHS funded um, and everything between the shops and the, uh, all the daffodils that are sold, I'm doing them here at my business. Um, all the money goes straight to Marie Curie and it really is a fantastic charity to support. How important is this uh, community care to the patients and their families? Oh, it's vital to the families. Um, most patients, if you ask, will prefer to die at home in their own house, sur surrounded by their family, dogs, cats, anything like that, it's vital that they have the choice to be at home. How key is funding to your work? Oh, funding is very important. Um, only 50% is given to us from the, the National Health Service, um, so funding is very, very important. So could you just tell us a bit more about the Great Daffodil Appeal? what it's for and how people can become involved. Yeah. Um, the Great Daffodil Appeal is, it runs the whole of the month of March and it's basically a month of raising money for, for Marie Curie. Last year we raised millions for it. It's a, it's the main fundraiser for worldwide, for, for uh, well, sorry, UK wide for, for Marie Curie. Um, what we have is collections, you, most people will have seen these collections people collecting these little, um, you, you donate money and you get given a little daffodil. Um, if you can wear the daffodil, it raises awareness of what the whole appeal is about. It's a sign of sort of freshness at spring, it's nice, um, and it will raise money towards the Marie Curie nurses, I say, across, the, across Britain. Um, it costs about £20 per hour for a Marie Curie nurse. So you can imagine, you know, if you can give £20, that's great, you've paid for one hour of Marie Curie nursing. It will also help fund the hospices as well, of which there are nine um, the closest one here is the Glasgow one at Stob Hill. Um, so it's a very, very worthwhile fundraising cause um, and there are going to be collections in this area. There will be collections in Clydebank on Saturday, sorry, Friday the 22nd, um, in Helensborough, on, in Tesco's on Saturday the 23rd and in Bearsden, Asda, 21st and 22nd. But they are all over Glasgow and they're just, it's, it's a big, big fundraiser for just getting money out there, people on the streets, you know, shaking cans, so please, please give as generously as you can.